Hi guys and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Jamie and today I don't usually get excited about doing these videos but when we get a uh, Golf Sorocco R in here, 2015, in this beautiful white, the most popular colour you can get, um, does get me very excited. We'll come around and we'll start off at the front of the vehicle. Uh, the first thing that you'll note with this vehicle is how low the car does sit. It gives it a real sporty look and speaking of sporty, if you just look at the uh, front grille as you can see it just looks great do have our color-coded front parking sensors on the vehicle as well so parking it shouldn't be an issue you also have the headlight watches for the hrd headlights um, with the hrds you do want to keep them as clean as possible to get the best beam you can also see that down here uh, is actually where the intercooler sits so on the actual other side of the vehicle there is no actual there's the vent but there's no holes in the vent so it actually doesn't go anywhere the air doesn't go anywhere with well, this one this feeds into the intercooler obviously to keep the engine as cool as possible you also have uh, uh, what do they call them daytime rain lights just above them as well and as you can see the front of the vehicle looks great we'll come around and we'll look at our first wheel the first thing you know about the uh, Sirocco wheels is just how good they look the the piano black with that uh, brushed aluminium looks fantastic um, as you can see the wheel presents really well uh, really good as well the good things about these wheels too is when you're actually driving the wheel actually looks great you can also see that we have Potenza RE003 tires on there so a really good tire and um, with the amount of you know power and the speed you'll be going in this vehicle you do want to have a good tire which these tires are very good if we just take a look at the side mirrors a little something different that uh, Volkswagen has done they actually have put it again in this brushed aluminium look uh, chrome sort of look with the indicator integrated into the side uh, mirror but as you can see just how good it looks the the, uh, the sharpness on the mirror as well um, so obviously when you're going fast it will help with all the aerodynamics too speaking of sharpness if you can just see the lines throughout the vehicle also down the bottom even the side skirt how it comes out a bit just looks fantastic uh, you can also see that the uh, door handles are color matched as well again just gives it a really good look uh, coming to the back of the vehicle now where sorry we'll stop at the second wheel first as you can see again how great the wheels look on the back as well again with the re003 potenzas as well so really good tires on this vehicle and they're pretty much brand new tires too which is another added benefit fuel filler cap is just on this side as well you come and look at the back of the vehicle again just like the front of the vehicle how good it does look how low it sits and those tail lights um, they have a real mean look to it you can also see you got, that you got the r badging as well so people aren't going to think you're just driving a normal Golf, which with the shape of this vehicle, you wouldn't think you're driving a normal Golf. Uh, you also have color match reverse parking sensors as well, and you've got a reverse camera as well. You can also see the twin exhaust that makes a lovely note, um, and when you shift gears, it does make a couple of noises that when you test drive this car, you will figure out. Um, if we just open the boot, quickly show you inside the boot. Something you will notice with the, uh, <coughs> the boot is how low, sorry, if we can get that unlocked is how small the actual boot lid is. So if you have a look at the size of the boot lid, it's not very big. It's a very small boot lid. Um, but as you can see, the boot space, it goes down and there's heaps of boot space. Um, even for a smaller car like this, it's got massive boot space. You can also see you have all your genuine mats in there as well. And as you can see, these vehicles do not come with a spare wheel. So as you can see, you have all your inflation kit and everything in there to sort it out. Also got a parcel shell fitted too, so if anyone does decide they want to try and look into the back of your vehicle, not going to see a single thing. Coming around the uh, passenger side now, again, if you just look at the condition on the paint, how good it looks, especially in that white. Um, if you didn't get glass coat on this car, which you're probably asking us, what is glass coat, which we'll tell you what it is when you come in, but you'd be crazy not to get it. Again, looking at this wheel again, as you can see, just like the other three, really good condition and just looks great. Again, wrapped in the uh, Potenza RE003s. We'll work our way down the body again, where you can't see any blemishes or anything that's worth pointing out. We'll stop at our fourth and final wheel. This wheel, just like the rest, really, really good condition and pretty much brand new tyres all around. So as you can see, guys, with the, the exterior condition of the car is in really, really good nick. Um, and you have pretty much four brand new expensive tyres as well. So what we'll do now is we'll uh, jump underneath the bonnet and take out the uh, main part of this car, the engine. All right, guys, take a look underneath the bonnet now. Um, the, as I said, the main part of this vehicle. Uh, so a two litre, four cylinder petrol engine turbo petrol engine I should say sorry uh, and it makes around 188 kilowatts which in a car for this size that only weighs 1300 kilograms is plenty of power you also have 330 newton meters of torque as well so plenty of torque at your disposal um, is zero if zero to 100 is um, something to you this car gets to zero to 100 in six seconds um, I would assume it'd be a little bit quicker with the tires that it has now uh, as they are more grippier 
We also do have a six-speed DSG gearbox. Now, if you don't know what DSG is, um, it stands for a direct shift gearbox. So it also has a dual clutch transmission. So the gifts, uh, sorry, the gifts, the, the shifts are absolutely lightning. Um, you have a 55 liter capacity tank that you will have to use 98. Um, with a performance engine like this, you wouldn't want to fill up anything else, I would assume, but you do have to fill up 98. You're going to get around eight liters every 100 Ks which is going to give you a fuel maximum distance of 873 depending how you drive. Obviously, if you have the car in sports mode the whole time and you're um, redlining every gear, obviously you're not going to get 873 Ks out of it. Just quickly show you something out of the bonnet as well. Um, this being a German car, the Germans are pretty smart when building cars. As you can see, they've just added this simple seal um, to cover off the airbox. So when the air comes through the grill, it's not going anywhere else but into the air intake so it can get the best um, performance out of the vehicle and obviously for cooling as well. What we'll do now guys is we'll uh, jump inside the vehicle and we'll show you through the interior. Alright guys, take a look inside this rocker now. We'll start off on the driver's side door where you can see, just like the outside of the vehicle on the side mirror, you can also see that you have the same sort of material on the inside on the door handle. And then right next to your door handle you have your central locking. Below there you also have your power window, so the passenger and the driver, and then all your controls for your electric mirrors. The mirrors you can also leave um, on the demister, so when they are foggy mornings and you can't see out the side mirrors, you can demist the mirrors as well. As you can see, this really nice handle to hold onto here, um, good for closing the door as well, because when you have the door open, I'll just quickly show you how far it does open up. Um, so obviously, you can't grab onto the door handle like normal cars, so you can just grab onto this handle here, um, and really easy to close the door. Right next to there you do have all your uh, headlight controls, so just leaving on auto will let it do all the work for you. And then you've got your brightness adjuster for the cluster in there. As you can see, really nice steering wheel that the uh, Sorocos do come with. As you can see, you have the R badge in the middle, just to remind you that you're driving something special. And then on the right hand side you have all your buttons to control the little screen in here. Left hand side is all for your media control in the middle. You can also see that this vehicle is fitted with paddle shifts. Um, being a sports car like this one is, um, and I'll go more into it when we get to the actual gearbox, so you can shift with the gears, uh, sorry, you can shift gears with the paddles as well. Uh, being German, the right hand stalk is actually the windscreen wipers, um, and on the left hand stalk is actually the indicators. Just taking a look inside the cluster now, as you can see, really nice sporty look into the cluster as well, um, where it has everything that you need, and that screen as well, that does show the speed as well. If we look into the middle of the screen now, as you can see, again, being a sports performance car like this is, you have your oil pressure, you have a clock in the middle that you can also, um, has a stopwatch built in it too, and then you've got your, um, your bar, which is your boost. So, because this car is a turbo, um, it just tells you how much boost you are pushing through it as well. Just below there, into the middle screen now, as you can see, it is a nice touchscreen display. Um, really easy to use. Um, also has satellite navigation, which I'll quickly show you. Um, it also has AM, FM radio, USB, AUX, and it has a very nice reverse camera too. So as you can see, really easy to use. It does have the parking assist too, so if you do get too close to a car, it will let you know. Just below here, you have all your climate control settings. So it is dual zone climate control, so the passenger can have a different temperature to the driver. Um, and it's as simple as if you want the maximum AC, simple as clicking max AC, and you will get the car as cold as possible, as quick as possible. Just below here, again, a little storage compartment with a 12 volt socket. Uh, then you've got your traction control button. You've got sport and comfort. If you want to drive as fast as possible, I would not put in comfort. You don't want to be comfy while driving fast. You want to be in sport which will stiffen everything up and make everything easier to drive. And then you've got your parking assist button that you can turn off as well. As I said before, the DSG uh, automatic gearbox, you can just leave it in order. It will shift just as quick. Or if you want to get fancy and you know be a better driver, you can put it into the sport shift. And that's where you use the paddles and shift through the gears manually. Putting that back in the park, I'll just quickly show you this little blind here that you just open and you've got your cup holders. Good thing is you can take this out and uh, you've got more room for your cups as well. So if you do have bigger drinks, you can easily fit them in. Um, you also see that we have AUX as well. Manual handbrake that is nicely leather wraps. And then as you can see, cushiony uh, armrest. Taking a look inside, as you can see, not, not much storage in, in the actual armrest itself, but you do have your media uh, input there. So AUX and USB as well. Oh, sorry, AUX is there, that's the USB. And little storage there where you'd probably put coins or something like that. What we'll do now, guys, is we'll just get the camera person just to pan around the interior. Um, show you the condition of the vehicle. Just like the outside of the vehicle, the inside present pretty much the exact same. Really, really good condition. Um, and for a small car like this, plenty of room in the back of the vehicle too. So what we'll do now guys is we'll uh, jump outside the vehicle and we'll wrap up the video.
I know I said I'm going to jump outside the car, but we're still inside the car. Uh, I'll just quickly show you through the service book. So as you can see, the first service was done at 7,000 kilometres at the Volkswagen Group Australia. Next one done at the exact same place, 15,000. The exact same place again, 29,000. 41,000 again at the same place. And then 46,500 at the same place again, and we're now sitting at 48. So as you can see, really good service history, all service at the one place as well. So. That's a really key benefit to this vehicle. Again, what I said before is we'll jump outside. We'll definitely jump outside the vehicle now and we shall wrap up the video. All right, guys, as I said, um, with the condition of this vehicle from the exterior and the interior, as you saw before, I can assure you this vehicle is not gonna last long. If you just look how great it looks from the outside. So please give us a call, 99070 and just before you go, it will also qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan, which is an additional cost. But if you are using our in-house finance, it's only going to be around $10 to $12 a week. So please give us a call, 99070555. Please book a test drive on this car today.